Introduction to Resources Script 1 Resources and its Types Students, imagine a situation. You have received a letter from NIUS that your examination will begin by the end of November. Your sister's wedding is also scheduled in November end. You need to decide on arrangement with your family like food to be served, guests to be invited, and place for the wedding. There is so much to do in so little time. You also need to study for your exams. Will you be able to achieve all your goals? Can you manage these events systematically? Yes, you all can do it. Let me tell you how. Let us now see how you can do all these activities and manage time for your studies too. First thing we need to understand is what we want. Can you tell me what do you want? We all want to do something in life, right? We need to fix our energy on one important thing in the order to achieve it. What is this called? Can you guess? Yes? This is called our goal. We say that we want to become a teacher, doctor, engineer, want to buy a car, etc. I mean, list is endless. What are they? Yes, they are our goals in life. So what is a goal? Yes, a goal is a target or aim that we want to achieve to satisfy our needs. What will happen if you are not able to achieve your goal? Yes, you will feel unhappy and unsatisfied. Now, let us understand what we need to achieve our goals. Let me ask you a question. For achieving good marks, you need books, right? Can you see in this picture? Yes. For getting books, you need to go to market to purchase books. What do you need to give to shopkeeper in exchange of books? Very correct. Money. Therefore, books and money are what? Yes, they are your resources. So, a resource is anything which helps us to achieve our goals. It's a, you know, it's a link between your goal and you. I mean, where you are and where you want to go. Resources are the means to achieve our goals. You can see in this picture and understand me. This picture shows that person wants to reach his goal and resources become the link between a person and his goals. Resources can be of different types. Do you know that you require many resources to achieve a particular goal? Like for preparation of exam, you require books, money, your own knowledge, time, energy, and skill. So, the resources that you require for your uh, good results are a mixture of human and non-human resources. So, what is human and non-human resources human resources are those that are inherited by a human being that is that he acquired from the environment like time knowledge and skill these are human resources and are individualistic in their character they are within human being as per one's acquired and inherent intelligence. Can you tell me what is this picture showing? Yes, in the first picture it shows that a boy and girl have the required skill to do the mopping of the floor. In the second picture it shows a boy who is efficient in plumbing operation. In the third picture, it shows that a person is using his skills and knowledge and it's working proficiently on computers. 
Second type of resources are non-human resources. Can you tell me what are non-human resources? Yes, they are not human resources. That's why they are called non-human resources. These resources can be shared with others also. Like money, you can share with someone. But your ability of doing something or your skill cannot get shared with others. That's why money is a non-human resource but skill is a human resource. Now you know that resources are very important for achieving our goal. So are these resources unlimited? No, they are not unlimited and are very limited and must be used carefully. Now, let us see the guidelines for use of resources. Do you know how to use resources? Yes, we should not waste resources and conserve them. What else can we do? Yes, while conserving resources, we should not deprive others of resources too. And we must think of alternatives to existing resources so that everyone can use resources sufficiently. Students, I hope now you have understood the meaning of a goal, resource and what are the types of resource and what is their importance in our life. Yes, resources are of two types, human and non-human resources. For any query or further assistance, you can directly mail us at an email ID sign language at the rate nios.ac.in. Thank you.